Alright, back again Luke here. And today what I thought we could do is a bit of a pickups video. I haven't done one of these in a while. But uh, the game that I just wound up picking up is this here. This is a Nintendo Versus board. And I wound up picking this up in actually three different parts. Um, I got the motherboard here off of eBay. And I wound up getting the ROM board. This is Castlevania. If you guys can see there, this is the original ROM board for uh, Castlevania, and it was one that I've always wanted to pick up for a really long time, but uh, I really haven't been able to find it as a complete set, so I came across the ROM board here, and I picked that up, and then I came across the motherboard, and I got that, and then finally, I came across a really awesome guy on eBay, uh, goes by the name of PCBJunkie.net, and this guy is just amazing. He actually had a converter board here that can take the, um, basically the two sides and convert it into one JAMA connector. And uh, I contacted him, he was just really cool about everything and he hooked me up with this uh, converter as well as a couple other ones. Uh, he has one for IRAM, uh, he's got another one for Konami. He has just a whole list of different adapters that he's made. And uh, it's just, is so cool just to talk with the guy really down to earth and um, really awesome. He sells these things at a really, really affordable price. I think it's the cheapest uh, on a, all the adapters that I saw on eBay. But yeah, just a, a really, I mean, cool guy just all the way around. Seriously, a huge thanks to uh, PCBJunkie.net for this one because this is what kind of pulled everything together and made it possible. Now you may guys, you may be noticing that uh, I have a little fan here and uh, I have wired in a fan to just kind of keep this board a little bit cool. And here in Japan it gets a little bit hot and especially in the summertime the houses have quite a bit of humidity, it gets really really warm and uh, these PCBs and these parts here are quite old so uh, in order to kind of keep them cool I just put on a little 12 volt fan here and that keeps everything running smoothly. So yeah it's not the best setup but uh, it does work for this right now and um, seems to be holding together quite well so uh, as of right now I'm probably not gonna make a, a gameplay video on this one just for this video as I have to get everything kind of hooked up and whatnot but just to show you guys the board and the setup uh, this is my first versus board and I, I was thinking about picking one up years and years ago but uh, I came across this one, I saw Castlevania, I mean it's one of my favorite series, so I figured I'll pick it up and uh, give it a go. But getting all the parts for it and getting everything kind of squared away took a little bit of work. I had to replace a couple of uh, capacitors on the back here, these ceramic ones. Um, one was here, there was another one that was broken up here and chipped. There were a couple on the main board here that were also uh, repaired. I think I repaired maybe this one here as well. Um, but the battery tray here was quite corroded as well you can see it still has a, a bit of rust on it but it's a lot better looking than what it was when I first got it uh, the hole inside here was completely rusted um, at least the springs work on this part the cords were cut um, they were basically just falling apart but nonetheless I got this thing up and working and configuring all of the different pots on here uh, this one I believe is for the master side and this one is for the slave. You'll notice on this PCB here too, this adapter board, it does have pin outs for master and slave. So what's nice about the versus boards is they can run basically two sets of uh, ROMs on it and uh, that's why they have these as uh, two different sets. Uh, with this adapter here, this can only run one side so you can only run a single one but that's still good enough and it's really really helpful especially if you want to run it through JAMA because this is a non-standard uh, pinout here for the system. But this is the ROM board. Uh, the ROM board does have a specific PPU that has to go with it in order for it to work. Uh, if not, you'll probably see some people out there who have uh, kind of changed the code and by changing the code out, they can uh, run like a different PPU for it. So it has like its own security code for the system and uh, it has its own specific uh, board here as well, which presses into two of the uh, slots on this side here. I think it's like 8J and 8, another number 8 something. Uh, it looks like these twin slots here, and you just press it in. It's probably hard to see up underneath there, but yeah, it just presses in there and fits in that, and uh, you're ready to go. On this side here of uh, the board, this one is, 
I think one of these you can run um, like just smaller regular RAM um, or ROMs, just burned ones. Uh, whereas the other ones you may need the adapter board for it. The games like was it Super Mario Brothers, I think can just use uh, ROMs that are burnt onto EEPROMs and uh, you don't need anything specific. Maybe uh, one PPU and then other than that it works out fine. Uh, other games that are sh like shooting based ones, you have to remove a couple of these capacitors. Now this board doesn't have it removed but there are like two capacitors that need to be removed in order to be able to play the shooting guns because what it does is it creates a more sensitive shot and if you don't have those removed it makes it uh, unplayable. So. If you ever see a board that's missing a couple of caps over here, that's because it was probably used in a shooting cabinet. But with them in or with them out, it really doesn't change the uh, uh, usage of it. You can still play regular games on it, not only the shooting ones, but... Yeah, I mean, a really neat looking board. Uh, it works really well. There are some parts where the... Uh, was it like the colors and things like that at the beginning were a little bit off but going through some of these pots here and trying to change them and adjust them I was able to get the color scheme out quite well uh, the other thing kind of going back to this adapter what I really like about this and that PCJunkie.net has done is he kind of put these silk screen prints on here and it just really looks cool I mean it, it's just a small little point but that small point it just flows with the rest of the board I mean it's using the same font as the original game and the original uh, company using the uh, the old style font from 1990s or whatnot but really really looks good and works great but nonetheless just want to share this with you guys here uh, it's a little bit of a shorter video but hopefully for the next one we'll be able to fire this thing up and show you guys some gameplay on it it is essentially the same game as the NES with a couple of uh, tweaks here and there one of them being that the time limit is kind of cut in half and uh, they put in a couple of other uh, difficult points for it to make the arcade a bit of a quarter muncher but other than that, it's a really uh, it's a really good game. I mean, it's just like the uh, the original. But the good point about this one is you can play it with the joystick, and you can pop in the coins and uh, check some of that. <laughs> but yeah, that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So thanks for watching. Watching a little bit of a look at the old versus setup. Doo -doo.